Hey guys, this is Triggs, and in the second part of this tutorial series, we're going to be working on the bottom of our website, as well as the buttons up top. And on the bottom, on this left section, we're going to be putting in some social media links. In the middle, we're going to be putting in a Twitter feed, but that's going to be done in Dreamweaver, so we're not going to have to do that in Photoshop. And then on the right side, we're going to be putting in some text also, just like the left side, that's going to be linking us to some recent videos on our channel or anything else you want to link to. So let's get started. We're going to create a new layer and we're going to want to get our text tool. We're going to get our text tool to start out with. Go to Arial Font. Then we're going to choose size 14 and then put in, you can put anything you want. I'm just going to put my networks. And we're going to want this color to be set to white. And then just drag that over. And I have my margin set, and you're going to want to set this also. You're going to want to align them with your uh, sections in the middle. So put one on the left, put one on the left of the middle, and the left of the right. So after you align it, just Control J to duplicate that layer. Hold Shift and drag it over, and then we're going to put it in Twitter feed. And then the Twitter feed, everything else will be done with coding in HTML and Dreamweaver. And also these labels, we actually, we're not going to probably have these done in Photoshop. We're probably just going to put some text into Dreamweaver to code this. And then we're just going to drag over our third one. And put in recent activity. And in the recent activity, it's kind of a broad category and you can just put in whatever you would like there. Just links to different things you find interesting. You can even do blog posts if you're going to be doing a blog website. Okay, so now we're going to need to... Grab the line tool, hold shift, make sure your color is selected on white. And then we're just going to drag from this left margin we made just to about right there. Right click on the layer, rasterize. Then we're going to change the opacity of that down to 50%, maybe a little bit lower depending on your likeness. After that, can hit control J. Hold shift, drag it over, align it with the middle margin. Control and J, align it with the left margin on the right box. All right, so that looks, that's looking really good. And now that we're done with that, we're gonna start adding in our information. Now this is just uh, kind of the links that we're gonna do for the My Networks area. And then for the Twitter feed, we're not gonna have to put anything in there in the recent activity. We're just gonna put some text, but really all the text and the CSS work will be done in Dreamweaver. So this is just like a mock-up of it. So on my networks, I already have some logos open. So I'm just going to copy in these logos really quick. And you can put any social network logos you want. Just got to get this logo. Where is it? All right, there it is. All right, cool. So now we have the DeviantArt logo. We're just going to resize that. We're gonna put that pretty small. That looks that's a little too big. Okay, that's good. Align that with the left. I'm gonna do a Facebook logo and just cut this out really quick. Control C, Control V to paste these in while you're doing this. Good. Resize that to about the same size as your DeviantArt logo. And you want these pretty small because if they're too big, they're going to stand out too much and take away from your important content, which is really the stuff up top, which is just samples of your work and things like that. So that size looks good. Then we're just going to get our last one, which is going to be Twitter. Copy that in. And all of these, we're going to want them to be white, or you can do blue depending on what you prefer. But I'm going to do white for this because I think white's going to look a little bit better. All right, that's cool. We're just going to add some simple layer styles. So I'm just going to go into here. I'm going to go to gradient overlay. We're going to set that to 50%. Then we're going to go to drop shadow, distance of 1, size of 7, opacity at 60%. That's good. Then we're just going to go to the other layers, the Facebook and DeviantArt, and we're going to make those white. So just go to color overlay, make it white, then right click, convert to smart object, and rasterize on both of those. White. 
right click for snore object rest drive cool then we're just gonna go down to our Twitter and we're gonna copy the layer style so right click copy layer style highlight both of the other layers paste it all right so now we have that on all now we're gonna go to our text and then we're gonna have the same size do size well, actually we'll do size 12 and then you're just gonna put your link so mine is tragedhd.dvnr.com good put that next to it drag it down Facebook just type in your link perfect make sure they're all aligned with each other but this text work will be done in Dreamweaver so that we can link it easier and you can always add more to this it's up to you what you really want to add all right cool so that's done Have to line those up and those are all set now the Twitter feeds done now recent activity we're just gonna put in text there all you're just gonna want to put in is a uh, check out my new video you can put anything in here just for time I'm just gonna add some simple text but this is all gonna be done in CSS and then you're just gonna have a few lines of this so I'd probably do since our Twitter what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three updates in there so I'm just gonna do three links on this side just to make it even All right that looks good now that that's all done we're gonna go up to our buttons up top now this is a very important part we're gonna zoom in and since on websites like you'll notice on any website I'll just show you Apple for instance pretty much every website you're gonna see this what it's gonna be is on their page titles at the top when you put your cursor on it it's gonna change to that dark color and you can either do dark or light any preference any color you want and when you click it also does like an indent now we're just gonna do just for time's sake we're just gonna do the overlay button and so what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to save these separately in Photoshop so what we go to do is go up to our buttons which is our page links and we're just gonna need to get our text and we're gonna highlight the layer we want now we're gonna want to create a new layer and we're gonna do this behind it and we're just gonna create a box so we're gonna use the rectangle tool and we're gonna want to get a gray and so I'm just gonna do that gray right there and now put a margin on the top and the bottom of it and you're gonna want to do it on the bottom of the highlight thing on the highlight bar so those are set up go to your other layer use the rectangle tool and then it'll automatically snap to the margins so I'm just gonna do it a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right on it that looks good rasterize that we're just gonna copy that drag it over and then just expand it so it fits the other ones better control J drag it over good control J drag it over align it with that left margin there just make it a little bit smaller to fit the contact button and that looks good now all you're gonna have to do I'm not gonna show you this part because this takes a little bit all you're gonna have to do is highlight these rasterize the rasterize the layers I'll just show you quickly how to do one of them so we'll go to contact I'm just gonna rasterize that text it's a rasterize type and then we're gonna go to the one that highlights over the contact which is this and that's already rasterized so you're just gonna hold contact and then hold the other one and merge those two together so now you have the con no, don't merge them don't merge them so now you have those two together you're gonna go to contact and make sure it's highlighted and then go to the other layer which is the gray this is a little confusing but make sure you do this right because it really matters now hold control and click on the layer and it'll put a rectangular marquee selection around it now go to file new and it'll preset it to the size hit ok that's a little bit too big one second 
new. Okay, sorry about that. I just didn't click copy. So you're gonna wanna click copy and then hit file, new, and okay, and it'll create up the size of that button. Then you're just gonna go to the gray that we had and we're just gonna paste that in there, the paint bucket, and then create a new layer, go back to our website, and we're, now we're gonna need to copy the contact text. So, drag over it, copy that layer. So, bring up your new button, go to the website, and then just drag it into that window. And just center that up. And you're all set. So then you're just gonna wanna hit File, Save As, make sure it's a PNG, and then just save that save that wherever you want to do. I'm just going to create a new folder for all the stuff we're going to be saving because later we're going to be cropping things and saving it for Dreamweaver. So I'm just going to create a new folder. It's really important that you do this. How to website. And then just save them all in there. I'm not going to do those right now, but you get the idea of it. So that's the, that's it for this tutorial. And then next really is just going to be coding and the coding will probably be at least two parts because there is a lot to it so before the next video you're going to have to make sure that you have Adobe Dreamweaver it doesn't really matter what version but at least have you make sure you have Adobe Dreamweaver and you're going to need that for the next two parts to code your website and to slice it in Photoshop and import everything to there everything to there so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you learned something from this and the next one is going to be very important, so make sure you stay tuned. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And thanks again for 1K. So I'll see you all later. Bye.